Block TV and we, are, we know today is the third of May, the third day in May and we know what May represents for workers in Nigeria. The federal government has implemented minimum wage for workers in Nigeria and we are here at Federal, Uni federal University of Agriculture and we want reactions from the staffs in Federal University of Agriculture to get to know how they feel about the implementation of minimum wage in Nigeria and we are here today with one of the workers who would like to know you, sir? Uh, my name is my name is Ondana Daniel Olu. Uh, I'm a staff of Francis Lima Idachaba Library, Federal University of Culture Makoti. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you very much, sir, Mr. Olu. Sir, I would like to know what's your responsibility in Federal University of Agriculture, sir? Yeah, I. I am the HOD of our ICT in Francis Lima Idachaba Library. I basically focus, uh, my res primary responsibility is on uh, looking at uh, the university e resources, specifically electronic resources, both online and offline electronic resources. So, we here, uh, what we do here, we manage those resources on behalf of the university to ensure that. Uh, the online platform are also available for both students and staff of the university. Okay, thank you very much, sir. We are happy to meet you, sir. Sir, I would like to know, the federal government has implemented a 30,000 naira minimum wage for workers in Nigeria, and it's, there's a rumor going around that that minimum wage is actually meant for federal staffs and the state government in Nigeria as opposed to also go ahead to implement the minimum wage for their workers in, the, in all the states across. So I'd like to know how does that affect you staffs of any University of Agriculture, sir? Uh, for we, or some of us that are staff of Federal of Agriculture of Makati, like myself particularly, I cannot say that I am, I am most impressed about the 30 minimum, 30 minimum wage. Uh, my reason is uh, is founded on the fact that uh, initially, that was about eight years ago, the federal government implemented 18,000 naira, and I've not even seen a difference uh, in terms of what I take home. What reflects in my salary is just barely 900 naira, so I don't understand. So if only 900 naira was added to my salary, not even 18,000 naira, so I don't know how it is being implemented. Uh, you know, the biggest challenge you have is that. Uh, a lot of us, especially workers, do not have the the, the true do not have actually the true information concerning how this minimum wage is being implemented, and so therefore we are not actually quite carried away. Especially some of us that are not collecting below eighteen thousand or thirty thousand naira as currently stipulated by the law, so we don't actually know the effect. And as far as I am concerned, uh, uh, it really it really does not commiserate. Uh, with the current situation of the country, so 30 million, 30,000 naira, as far as I'm concerned, is still quite below, below average, for someone who has a child, so who has a child and a wife, uh, probably sometimes children, to actually look after, to fend for himself and his own family. So for me, the federal government needs to do more. Okay. Thank you, sir. From what we get from you, you have said the 30,000 naira minimum wage implemented is actually not okay for Nigerians, for workers in Nigeria. And from the information we're getting from you, the 18,000 naira previously implemented for workers in Nigeria was not actually the actual amount you got. You have not seen that in your salary, sir. Is that correct? Okay, so your expectations for this month, you're not sure if that 30,000 naira minimum wage will actually be an increase to your salary for this month. Is that correct, sir? Uh, yes, for for this month, I will wait patiently until I see my pay slip. Then I'll exactly understand what the federal government will actually implemented. For now, I actually don't know what, I don't know their mode of uh, uh, implementation. I don't know how they're going to go about that. Whether they're going to top additional 900 naira again on my salary, I don't know. But it's very indeed very unfortunate that the template for implementation of minimum wage here, here, here in Nigeria is so shoddy in secrecy 
that most of the times we workers don't even know how the implementation is being done. And because of that, most of the times we cr it creates a lot of doubt and suspicion, both on the part of government and those implementing it, both at the federal, federal and state local government level. So the implementation usually is usually very, very poor. You know, basically, for some of us, it's not about uh, having a minimum wage, it's about implementation, making it work. Do you understand? Then we find cases where even the federal government at its level is failing to comply with its, its own decision. Sadly, it is so, but that is the country we are, we are in for now. So for me, honestly speaking, until I wait and see what, what my pay slip says before I can be sure of what the federal government intends to do, whether they want to change from the usual 900 naira or they want to do better this time around. Thank you. From what you have heard from Mr. Daniel Olu, he has said he is not currently happy with the minimum wage that has been implemented for workers in Nigeria and currently he is actually waiting for his pay slip to actually see if truly that 13,000 naira has been actually implemented into his salary for because from what he said, the 18,000 naira that was previously implemented, he didn't actually see that amount. He has been seeing 900 naira from his salary. So we just hope and we wait patiently to get to know if that has been implemented for the staffs of Federal University of Agriculture. This is Declock TV. Thank you for your time, sir. Declock TV and today is the third day of May and we know what May third means for Benue workers and Nigeria at large. May was actually the day implemented, the federal government actually implemented minimum wage for the workers in Nigeria and we were made to understand that 30,000 naira was actually implemented for workers in Nigeria. We are here at Federal University of Agriculture to get to get reactions from their staffs on how they feel about the 30,000 naira implementations and to get to know other detailed information about the 30,000 naira implemented minimum wage. And we are here with one of the staffs of Federal University of Agriculture and we'd like to hear from her. Ma, can we meet you, Ma? Hmm. Hello, good morning. I'm Ms. Somali. I'm a staff of the library. I work in the ICT department and I'm a lecturer too. Okay, thank you, thank you, Mrs. Omali. We are happy to meet you. We'd like to know the 30,000 minimum wage implemented. How do you feel about it? Well, the truth is, I think it's a good idea to increase minimum wage in Nigeria, and I like the idea, but um, let me say I'm indifferent about it because I don't know when they'll implement it, when it's going to reflect on our salaries. And even if it does reflect on our salaries, there's a way Nigeria, um, finance in Nigeria has a rippling effect on the other, yes, in the economy, like if salaries increase before you know everything in the market is increasing so is it really going to be of help to nigerians and aside from that thirty thousand naira as minimum wage thirty thousand naira a month to me is still small it's a good thing it's far better than eighteen thousand naira but to me it's still small because imagine paying thirty thousand naira to a man who has family and in Nigeria, we have a lot of dependents. So it's not just your immediate family, you have your extended family as well living with you. And so it's not so easy, but it's a good thing. And if it's finally implemented, it will be very welcome. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that response. And from what we're getting from you, you have said 30,000 naira is actually not enough for a common man in Nigeria. And you have said that we've actually got an information that the federal government is actually planning on increasing valued added tax from 5% to 50%. We're not sure. Yeah, 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 that's correct. 50%. We're not sure how far it has gone. But if that happens and that 30,000 naira is actually implemented and you see it reflect on your salary, how would that affect your budget, ma? I don't have any comment on that. Let it confess. <laughs> I can't spend money. Okay, okay. 
Well, we have gotten from Mrs. Amali. She has said 30,000 naira is not enough at this stance. With that 5%, it is not actually enough. And if it increases to 50%, she's not sure. She's not sure. She doesn't want to give us a comment right now. We are actually waiting for that response when it happens. So, Ma, we would like to know, 30,000 naira, you have previously said that 18,000 naira was implemented by the federal government. Some states have implemented that too, and workers in those states have gotten their salaries increased to that amount. But you at Federal University of Agriculture, did you actually get that 18,000 naira minimum wage reflects on your salaries? Mm -mm. Um, I don't understand your question. Am I am I any more than eighteen thousand naira? Is that what you're asking? Uh, yes, actually, minimum wage, as we all know, have been increased to eighteen thousand naira. Have you seen that reflected on your pay slip? Do you have? Do, do they pay you eighteen thousand naira as your minimum wage? In I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember my pay, my pay slip. Is okay. okay. Mrs. Somali said she doesn't really remember, she, she's not sure if 18,000 naira has actually reflected on her salaries and we are happy to actually have you on our TV today. This is Decklock TV. Thank you very much for listening.